Hi everyone, this is my new book, it's out today, so I thought I would read it to you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Marion Duchars, I'm an illustrator author. Um, I'm, I've made three books about Bob the Artist, this is the third one, and today I'm going to read it to you. So this is called Bob Goes Pop. It's dedicated to my sister, Helen. I've got four sisters and one brother, and everyone's going to get a book eventually, so this one is for her. So here we go, if I can get it. Bob goes pop. Hey Bob, have you seen the new artist in town, said Al? He's called Roy the Sculptor and everyone is talking about him. Roy who, Bob said, but I'm the best artist in town. So Bob went to meet Roy. He was a rather smug looking blue parrot. Hello, said Roy. I hear you're an artist too. What do you think of my fantastic sculpture? I call it Hammy Bammy Cheesy Bunny. Here's another one. It's called Green Blob Pink Brush Splob. And how about this one? My Shuttle Buttle Knick Knock Scuddle. Oh, said Bob. But they're just ordinary objects, except bigger. My sculptures aren't ordinary, they're extraordinary. Besides, anyone can make a boring old painting. I bet you could even make a sculpture, snapped Roy. It's easy. I bet you I can, said, Rob, said Bob. The next day, Bob made his first sculpture. Ta-da! I call it Dotty Dot Barky Bark. Oh, but come and look at what Roy's just made. I call it Licky Lick Slurpy Slurp. Hmm, it's just a big lollipop, said Bob. Bob tried again. My bendy yellow bellied nanas. Totally bananas, said Bat. But come and look at what Roy's just made. It's my gigantic sitting ducky duck, said Roy. Oh, we love it, said the birds. It's fantastic, said Al. Humph, scowled Bob. The next day, Bob made another sculpture, but so did Roy. Bob tried again, and so did Roy. Bob kept trying. But Roy's sculptures really were extraordinary. Bob needed some new ideas. So that night, he crept over to Roy's workshop. Just a tiny peek, he whispered. The next day, Roy revealed a giant balloon dog. And Bob revealed an identical giant balloon dog. It's called Blobby Dog Woof Woof, they both said at the same time. my idea, shouted Roy. You copycat! Roy grabbed Bob's blobby. They tussled and they tumbled until... Pop! My blobby, it's all gone, wept Roy. I'm, I'm so sorry, so Rob, so Bob. <laughs> I could make you a new one. We could make it together, pleaded Bob. Maybe, sniffed Roy. You, you could do the sculpting and I could do the painting, said Bob. So they went into Roy's workshop. Drill, crunch, bang, puff, biff, bash, whap, splat, splosh. What is going on in there, said the birds. At last, Bob and Roy came out of their hut. We have a new creation. We call it Blobby Dog Woof Woof Wow. Now that really is extra, extraordinary, said Al. Everyone came from miles around just to see it. Now we are both the best artists in town, said Bob. And best of all, we're friends. The end.